morning with Amir. Hi friends, today we learn how to play chess. Chess is one of my favorite board games. It is a game of strategy that people have been playing for centuries. It has been a favorite game of kings throughout the world. The exact origins of the chess are not known, but it is said that it was evolved from similar games played in India about 2000 years ago. The chess that we know today has been around since the 15th century. A game of chess is played between two players, each controlling one army. The game is like a battle between two armies. The goal is to trap the king of the enemy such that it is in danger and have no chance to survive. The real target is the king of the enemy, but capturing the other soldiers makes it easy to get to the king. Chess is played on a chessboard. Here is the chessboard. It has eight horizontal rows that are called ranks. It also has eight vertical columns that are called files. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, row 6, row 7, and row 8. Column A, Column B, Column C, Column D, Column E, Column F, Column G, and Column H. In total, there are 64 squares as 8 times 8 is 64. The squares alternate in colors. Here they alternate between beige and brown. Generally, white and black colors are used in chess. But any light color can be used for white. And any dark color can be used for black. In my chess, the light color is beige and the dark color is brown. Please press the red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now let's look at the types of pieces that each army has. There are six types of pieces. These are pawn, knight, bishop, rook, queen, and king. Pawn, knight, bishop, rook, king, and queen. And the queen is the most powerful. This is pawn, this is knight, this is bishop, this is rook, this is king, and this is queen. They all have different moves which we will learn about shortly. Each army has one king, one queen, two rooks, two bishops, two knights, and eight pawns. So 16 pieces in total. Now let's see how a pawn moves. A pawn can only move forward. It can never move backward. So this is forward. And this is backward. It only moves forward. It never moves back. But the other ones can. It can only move one square forward in the same column, also known as file. Except for the first time when it can move two squares. So this pawn can only move in column D. Since it is his first move, it can move here or here. Because in the first move, it can move two squares. This pawn cannot move two places like the other because it is not in its initial station. It can only move one square forward in the same column. A pawn moves one step vertically forward but captures an opponent piece one step diagonally forward. So this pawn can move in the blue square but it 
can capture here or here. If there is any piece in front of it, whether a friend or a foe, it will remain blocked until the square becomes vacant or it has an opportunity to capture an enemy piece. Here is a bishop. Bishop can move any number of squares diagonally. There are two bishops in one army. One is placed on white square and the other on black. Since a bishop always moves in diagonal, a bishop that was initially stationed at a white square will always land on white squares throughout its lifetime during the game. And likewise, the second bishop will always land on black squares. It can go to any of the squares highlighted in blue and green in one move. Here is the second bishop. It can move here and it can move here it can move here and it can move here here are the valid moves of the second bishop highlighted in pink and orange the first bishop can move any of the blue or green squares in one move and the second bishop can move in any of the pink or orange squares in one move a rook can move any number of vacant squares in the same rank or same file so it moves in straight line either vertical or horizontal it can go straight up, straight down, straight to the right, and straight to the left. Straight up mm. and straight down. Straight to the right and straight to the left. So I, so it can go here, it can go here, it can go here. <laughs> are the valid moves of this rook. It can move to any of the blue or green squares in one move. The king can only move one square horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. One square horizontally. vertically and it can move diagonally that's all of them these are the valid moves of the king it can go to any of the squares highlighted in pink in one move but it cannot move to a square where it will be in danger or in the language of chess in check if the king is already in check and there is no valid move left. It is called checkmate. And this army loses the battle and the player controlling the army loses the game. A queen is the most powerful piece in chess. It has the strength of both a rook and a bishop. It can move any number of vacant squares horizontally vertically and diagonally. It can move here, here and here. Are the valid moves of a queen that is currently on a black square. 
In one move, it can go to any of the highlighted squares. Orange, blue, pink, green. Now let's put this green on the white square. And here, here, it's fun. This is so fun. Because I want to do different combinations. Starting to look very nice. Now it mm. looks good. And here are the valid moves of a queen that is currently on a white square. In one move, it can go to any of the highlighted squares. None of the pieces we've seen so far can jump over another piece whether a friend or a foe if there's a friend piece on the way a piece cannot jump past that if there is an enemy piece on the way the piece can land on the same square and capture the enemy piece by removing it from the game but a knight can jump over the pieces whether friends or foes as long as the square where it can legally land is either empty or has an enemy piece. If the square is empty, it would just land there. If it has enemy piece, it would land there and also capture the enemy piece. A knight moves like an English letter L. Two vertical squares and then one horizontal square. Or two horizontal squares and then one vertical square. There can be eight possible moves for a knight. It can land here. It can land here. And it can land here. These are the valid moves for the knight. It can go to any of the blue squares. One move. You said 8 and these are 8. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Now let's see how to set up the chessboard before playing the game. First, two players should sit opposite to each other and place the board in such a way that the first row has a white square on the right hand side of each player. You can remember this rule. White on right. White is on my right. Now place the rooks on two ends of the first row. Okay. Oh, let's place the next rook. Okay, here. And then the knights on the squares next to the rooks in the same row. Then the bishops on the squares next to the knights. One bishop, two bishops. I I make them facing towards there. Now the player that has white or light colored army should place the white queen in the vacant white square in the first row. And the player that has black or dark colored army should place the black queen in the vacant black square in the first row. You can remember this row. Queen on her own color. Now the king goes to the last empty square in the first row. Finally, each of the eight pawns goes to one of the squares in the se second row. All eight of them. One here, two, three, four, four six, seven, and eight. I have set up the white army and now I am going to set up the black army.
biceps. Boom and bam. Now the black queen on the black square. And the king on the white, on the left. And then the other pawns. That is how the chessboard is set up and each army is stationed before the game starts. Another thing to note is that if the board has letters and numbers with ranks and files to identify squares, white army should be set up in rank 1 and rank 2. My white army is set up in ranks 1 and 2. Ranks in chessboard are number from 1 to 8 and files have letters from A to H. These are ranks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. White Army is initially stationed in rank 1 and 2. A is on white's left and H on its right. A is on my left and H on my right. Now using the file letter and the rank number, any square can be identified. Here are some examples. Black queen is placed in C5. White pawn is on G3. This scheme of identifying squares is called algebraic chess notation. It is used to record moves. Pieces are identified by their shape or first letter. K for king, Q for queen, R for rook, B for bishop, and N for knight. Mm -hmm. Knight starts with K, but its second letter N is used to identify it. Because K is already used by king. A move is recorded by identifying the moving piece and the destination square. For example, if a queen moves to square d2, it will be recorded as qd2. Capture is recorded using letter x. qxd2 would mean that a queen moved to square d2 and captured enemy's piece. That was there. A question for you. Can you find all squares where the white knight currently in e5 can go? Please answer in algebraic notation. In the next part of this video, we'll learn some special rules of the game and play the game of chess. See you next time. Bye! Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel Learning with Amir. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time. Bye.